Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech and today I'm going to show you how to make a multi-boot USB very easily. So today we are visiting an old video that already showed you how to make a multi-boot USB but in a very, I would say, complicated way. This time it will be very easy and without any complexities and should work with pretty much any ISO. So, let's put our disk on key in the USB and we shall begin. The tool that we are going to use is called Ventoy. In order to get it, we need to go to ventoy.net. Now let's go to Downloads and download the tool. We are using Windows, so we are going to get the Windows version. And as you can see, it navigates us to the GitHub. So let's go grab the Windows version, the latest one, and let's download it. Ok, let's extract it. Go to the extracted folder and let's try to run it. And here we are. Ok, so if you don't see your distant key, just hit your refresh and if not, just unplug and plug again your distant key and you should be fine. Now what we are going to do is basically hit install. The disk will be formatted and all the data will be lost. Keep in mind that it will format your disk on key and will remove any data on it. Let's hit yes, yes again, and now it's creating our bootable disk on key. After a couple of minutes, we are finished. Now the only thing is left is actually go to our computer, go to our Ventoy disk on key, and I have here already a few ISOs that we are going to copy and basically that's it. We should be able to boot in each one of them without any issue. Keep in mind that not everything is tested and you might still find some ISOs that won't boot correctly. We are going to test a few as you can see here, but just keep that in mind that it might be not perfect as well. So now that all of our ISOs have been copied, let's switch the camera and check them out. Now we are booted into our Ventoy disk on key. And as you can see, there's a list of all the ISOs that we have copied. So let's for example, for a start, choose Windows. Keep in mind that you might want to rename your ISO files to better recognize which one is which. So let's hit enter on the Windows. Let's see, we do have a mouse, we do have a keyboard. I want to check if we do see our drives, because if we don't, that means that it won't work for us. Obviously I'm not going to reinstall anything here, but I'm just going to check if we see our drives. Yep, we can see all our drives, which is very good. And now we can restart our computer and check another one. Now before I continue my restart, I'm on my boot manager of my BIOS, and keep in mind that on every computer, the key might be a different one. For me it's F12 for example, for you it might be something else, it depends on your motherboard. So, uh, as you can see we have a UA5 version and we also have a legacy. That depends on your computer, but what's good about Ventoy, it supports both with no issue. So for me we are going to hit the UEFI and here we are. Now I'm not going to check actually all of them, I think will be enough if we we'll check for example Ubuntu and Iron Boot CD. Let's start with Iron Boot CD. Iron Boot CD is an ISO that includes many tools that are useful to fix computers and pretty much use a computer from a live CD sort of with Windows PE. As you can see, it's already starting and here we are. Uh, honestly, I didn't think it would be that loud. But here we are, we can see sort of our computer and we can also see all our disks, which is very good. Also the Ventoy. So that's quite cool. And as I said, we can pretty much use the computer like nothing happened. If your drive, for example, got destroyed and uh, you cannot buy a drive right now or something, and you just want to use your computer pretty simply, you can use Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox and pretty much every simple thing here without any issue on Windows PE without any installation. But for now let's hit start and restart again into our Ventoy. So now let's check the Ubuntu. And 
basically when we check for Ubuntu it means we can run Windows, we can run Ubuntu, we can run pretty much anything here. So I guess Ubuntu should be the last thing that we'll check. There's no reason to check all the ISOs I guess. It does some weird checking, I'm not really sure what that means. But uh, it goes pretty fast, so let's give it a try. Keep in mind that I just downloaded an Ubuntu so we can test it, so uh, it might be a new version that adds it. I see it for the first time, this sort of weird file check. I've got to admit, that was a very fast load. And again, it's from our discount key, which includes multi-boot options. So let's try Ubuntu. I'm not going to go through any, I don't know, wizard or whatever it will give me, but let's just see that it works. Well, that's very fast. And I guess we can even launch Firefox just to enjoy Ubuntu. Yep, that's how it seems. And just for example, let's go to Wikipedia. Yep, everything works. Even the sound, that's amazing. So our disk on key is ready and you can add any ISO that you want without any issue. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.